Hey guys, this is Austin. So last time, Jay and I may or may not have uh, made a little bit of a mistake. But today, we're here to redeem ourselves. What are we gonna do? We're gonna rebuild the Scrappinator. The Scrappinator is a $50 PC that Jay and I got off of Craigslist last year that we attempted to turn into a gaming PC with less than perfect results. Single core 2.4 gigahertz. Oops. So right now, let's go to storage. Let's knock out, like basically, let's go see if we can find the system. I hope I didn't lose it. <laughs> but let's also see if we can find some other parts. Cause I assume we're gonna have to gut most of it. Yeah. So if we're gonna put like Ryzen 5 inside with a decent GPU, I don't know what kind of power supplies inside, but I'm sure it's garbage. All right, so this is gonna be fun. Um, so when do we do the video? September? We have to do some digging. Okay, we got a 1060 ITX card in here. Or sorry, not ITX, but a small form factor. Um, power supply, we've got a 600 watt. Okay, let's, let's keep an eye on this. We also do have one other case back here, but I think that 1060 especially should work. All right, um, I have a terrible idea. I love those ideas. So we need a power supply, right? What do, what do you think this system is gonna pull at full load? Just wild guess. Well, I know, we've got, we've got the way you wanna do it and then the way I'm kinda gonna try and make you do it. Okay, well I've got something that might work for both of us. Okay. <laughs> What's so. that? That'll fit barely. Uh, <laughs> it might not. <laughs> But we can make it fit. It's not too, too long. I've got the same power supply. The Scrappinator lives again. I still don't see what we came in here for. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Right there. Oh. I knew that. All right. What do we got here? Ah, yeah. We can work with that. So the problem with this case is that it actually doesn't have any fans at all in it right now. It just has the, uh, the stock fan. And the power supply 80 millimeter fan. That's it. I want to like reuse as much as we can from this. But I do think this motherboard's got to come out. There's no way we're going to use a single core Athlon. So right now we have 8 gigs of RAM. Hopefully we can bump that up to 16. We've got a 1060, which I think should work pretty well. And then we stole a small fan as well as a 1TB hard drive from the Dell. So this is looking like beginnings of a build. All right, let's get to work on this guy. So first of all, I think the big thing I want to do with this is keep it as original looking on the outside as possible. I don't want to give it away from the outside. From the inside, we can make it look whatever, but like, I kind of like the idea of it looking like, well, a $50 well, Craigslist The idea PC. is that it's just unsuspecting. So I think first step should be just gutting everything out of here and then I think we can slowly rebuild with whatever parts that we can salvage. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be much left. Like literally, it's just gonna be a steel frame when we're ready to build in it. We gotta keep the soul of this guy though, man. We gotta like, the scrap in has to live on in more than just body. I don't, do you think this panel has ever been taken off in the last I don't years? think so. I think that is, that is original. Oh. 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 It's like half a cat. No, 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 there. so I'm not taking responsibility for that. <laughs> that was not us. You can see where he wiped it. That modem though. Mm -hmm. What does a date on it? What does it say? Uh, June 2007. I just love that someone had a DVD drive and like, you know what I need? A CD drive. I thought maybe we could have blown this out before we started tearing it down. It's okay, we're in your studio, so I'm fine. It's like those car shows when they find like some cars been sitting in a garage for like 40 years. Oh. They always like pressure wash it down. Or like those home remodeling shows where they crack open a wall and it's full of like dead rats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, that's quality look at, right look there. Look at the gauge wire. We wouldn't have wanted to use that at all. Oh. That's fine. No way. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna, we just, there we go. That's, that's where it belongs. I like the idea of keeping the, egg, uh, the uh, outside fairly original, but I feel like a lot of what we have to do is gonna depend on a couple of things. One, okay. power supply size. We have to go fan inside because there is no vent For sure, here. for sure. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, um, crisis number one. Yeah. We have to turn around the other way because the modular cables hit the frame. Wait. You, you, it's it's backward. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing you. Actually, you know what? That actually doesn't look crazy. No, it actually looks like it fits. Like yeah. it belongs there. That's pretty reasonable. Well, because it's it's black and kind of a platinum color, and that's yeah. sort of the color of this build. See, we're themed on this. This is intentional. So now it's time for our Ryzen 5 processor. So this is the 1500X. So that means that it is quad core, so it's kind of against the core i5, I'd say. So for this, it should be more than enough. To go along with it though, we have a B350 motherboard. Now, the only issue is, I don't know if this actually has uh, a BIOS update that will work with Ryzen 5. I hope it'll just work out of the box, because if not... Oh, dude, oh. perfect. Stand up straight. Oh, I got this in the way. Oh, dude. 
Is this actually gonna work right now? We have enough clearance in the back. We actually have a lot of clearance over here when we wanna run cables. Yeah, there's more clearance than I expected there to be. Okay, here comes the fun part. Installing the 1500X. And with that, we have a Ryzen heart in our build. So a 1060 should definitely fit. Um, I almost wonder though, this is going so well, we could actually maybe step it up a little bit. What do you have in mind? I don't know, maybe like a 1080, 1080 Ti, something like that. We're in luck, because I usually have one on me. <laughs> well, is that gonna fit though? Because like we've got this drive cage I don't think here. so. I don't think it's gonna fit at all. Oh, not, not even close. So you know, we don't need these bottom dri drives, because we're gonna fill up the five and a quarters. Yo. This is gonna work, isn't it? All right, now comes the fun part. Did that actually work? Ooh, it's still so tight. It's gonna slide her in. Oh, you know what? No, it's, it's all right, you just need a little It barely tight. cleared though, let me tell you why, because I was basing it off the top slot and it's, they don't use the oh. top slot. Oh! All right, well, that's looking pretty good. I think now it's just a thing of getting some cabling, um, throwing the memory in. I think this should work. Um, the only other thing is gonna be cooling, but sure. I think let's get this all up and running and then we'll figure that out. So since the Scrapinator is accidentally becoming kind of cool, instead of using a one terabyte hard drive, instead we're going to be using a Samsung 950 Pro. All right, now we have an NVMe SSD. Uh, where's our memory? This is the only part I'm actually a little nervous about. I know Ryzen has some issues with memory, especially when you get higher clock stuff. Worst case scenario, we just do boot one stick. And there we go. This is looking like an actual system. Um, is there anything else needs to be plugged in on the bottom? Like a- uh, panel. That's proprietary to the other motherboard. We can plug it in and hope that it's <laughs> miraculously the exact same layout. Okay, it's got the exact same pinout as the one on this motherboard. Do you think, there's no way we're that lucky. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna I have, have to- I have faith. Everything about this build is so close that we're barely making it. Like, ah, uh, look at that. There's not <laughs> any slack on that whatsoever, but it fits. Okay, um, let's uh, start doing press play. Teamwork. Here, hang on, I got you, Wait, I got you. I got it. Don't move, don't wiggle. That's it. Hey, Jay got it in. It's amazing what a little light can do when it comes to insertion force. Time for the moment of truth. There are a lot of things that could go wrong. There still are, yeah. But lots of things. Ready? Oh my God, what? we got lucky. What? The pinouts. We're Dude. identical. Dude! <laughs> 10 year old motherboard matched the pinouts. I tell you, I'm pretty sure they were standard, but just. E everything's spinning. AMD always takes forever on the first boot. First so boot, give it yeah. Some time. Yeah. Dude, is this gonna work? It could be memory, but. I still think the memory configuration on this right now is freaking it out a little bit. Yeah. But we got it. There it goes. Hey! Dude! It takes two minutes yes. for the first boot, dude. Yes! The Scrapinator lives! Oh, look at the temp. 33. We've got <laughs> Ryzen 5 showing up, 1500X. It shows, well, it only shows 8 gigs of RAM. It's dual channel, 2133, like you no, said. No, but it only shows 8 gigs. Oh, but so it did freak out a little bit. So one of the memory isn't being a, that's fine. Who cares? Who, Whatever. Yeah, who cares? This works. Dude, this, <laughs> we redeemed ourselves. That's the genius build ever. So you, sure, this is not the most practical build. It's not the prettiest build. It's not the most ghetto build. But man. But it is the sleeperiest build. I'm so proud of this right now. So the Scrapinator lives. If you guys want to check out the original $50 game PC challenge of how we got this system in the first place, definitely be sure to check that out. You can also subscribe to Jay. He makes cool videos and helps me dremel sometimes. And I'm curious, what do you guys think about the new Scrapinator? Let us know in the comments below and we or I or someone will catch you in the next one.